we um, are underestimating. That's one in our, um, in our business, but I wanted to take a look at uh, two, uh, VR and, uh, and mobile. First is, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about today is why we're overestimating VR's near-term impact. And I do love that picture. <laughs> Well, the first is I just I want to believe I want to believe in VR. I've read Ready Player One. I've read Armada. I've dreamt about this. I dig the Matrix. I just I super want this um, to work, right? And there are lots of patterns, right? I have to get a PC. I have to get a headset. I have to get some controller in order to be able to begin to experience this um, uh, this, this platform. Um, there are lots of atoms. Those atoms are more expensive. You've got to buy more atoms in order to be able to experience VR, and so the adoption of VR uh, will be slower. Um, it requires behavioral change, right? Either social, uh, has social impact, requires me to set stuff up in a way that I haven't uh, had to before. Um, and as a bonus, I also get divorced, which for most people means slower. Some people make it faster, I don't know, but for me, no. Um, so when we look at when we look at VR through the lens of this um, of, of this graph, we're definitely on this slow uh, slowest uh, side of the uh, side of the, uh, of the model. From 75 percent of all investments in VR and AR were from Seed or Series A, and the vast majority of the others uh, were from uh, were from strategic, all be at once. And so then the question that I can hear all of you uh, asking, um, the really overwhelming <laughs> telepathic sense I'm getting from you all right now is, does this mean that I should not create, publish, or invest um, in VR? Well, that's, no, that's, that's not, not the case. You should just use this model to be aware of. Now, there are six strategies, I think, for winning um, in VR. Um, my top, my number one, is that how much time I've taken or how much time I have left? Left, wow, okay. Um, six strategies for VR. My number one strategy for VR, uh, the winning VR strategy, is wait. Um, not very exciting, but a key strategy. My number two strategy is work with someone for whom VR is uh, strategic. Uh, a film company, uh, a, uh, a location-based uh, company. Um, do something that requires only seed or series A capital. Making games is a very expensive proposition. Making games that have incredible asset density is a very, very expensive um, proposition. Seed and series A capital is not lots and lots of money. Um, it's enough to make, you know, one tenth of the, the average electronic arts game. So it's a, you know, it is a very, very expensive um, proposition to build these things um, effectively. You could focus on building essential market infrastructure. Um, you could focus on a vertical where adoption is a given. You know, the people, you don't have to convince people that they need to set up something um, in their home in order to be able to, uh, to enjoy this experience. And then the last, and actually my real most favorite um, thing to do, would be to make great through content. Because ultimately, the only way that these markets truly develop um, is if there's breakthrough content driving them forward. So